Hi guys, I hope you're well. Today I thought I'd do my August favourites because it is September and I haven't done one yet. So I don't ever stick to these on the right month. So hopefully I'm a week late, it's fine. But yeah, I've got some things built up here, so let's get on with it. Also, I'm in a different location today. I thought I'd just try and mix up a little bit. I'm in the process of kind of sorting my desk area out. It's not as pretty as I want it yet, so we're getting there. But I thought I'd film in here today just because I get a bit bored of filming in the same room all the time. So I thought we'd mix it up a little bit. So the first thing I have got in my favourites this week is these Gilded Ink Tattoos. Now, these are metallic tattoos which I think is just bizarre because I've never, I've heard of it, but I've never tried them before, but I love them. So basically you get these um, sheets of tattoos, I don't know how well you can see in there the light. Um, and yeah, you get these sheets of tattoos and they are just amazing, basically. Um, I really like them and they're great for like festival season. Um, I used one, as you can see, I was meant to be camping um, a little while ago with the company, but that kind of went a bit wrong, so I didn't actually get to use them in the end, but hopefully, in England, the weather's a bit lame at the moment, so putting these on is a bit pointless, like no one's going to see them anyway, I'm going to wear jeans and jumpers. But hopefully if the weather brightens up a little bit, I'll be able to pop these on and kind of embrace the festival feel, so I'm hoping for some sunlight. These are a couple of watches I've been sent recently. This one is by Abbott Leon, and it's this gorgeous, gorgeous watch, I'll leave all the links below. And it's a black suede strap with a black face and gold detailing. and. I just absolutely love this, it's kind of classic and simple and just exactly to my taste. You guys know that I love black stuff and I absolutely love this, so I'm really enjoying wearing this recently. And the next watch I have is by Dixon da Daisy Dixon and again I've been wearing this loads recently and I love it so much I've even kept it on the little cushion. And it's this watch, it's gold and it's got three dials on the front and it's more of kind of uh, less classic simple watch, it's more of a bit, a lot going on there, but it's got the date on it and I just really love this and I love the kind of style of it and how fun it is and with the tan I think this will look brilliant. So I've been wearing that the loads this month, I keep saying this year but it's the monthly favourites Laura. Next up I'm going to do the makeup products that I've got and this one is by Seventeen and this is the Brows That Brow Kit. And I've really been enjoying using this. Um, let me see if I can open it. It's really difficult to open, that's the only thing. So they kindly sent me a load of goodies and this is one thing that I have been really enjoying wearing. As you can see, it's got like the three, um, the three colours. You've got your dark gel, then your dark shadow and then like a highlighter. You've got a little brow pencil and a little brush in there as well and like little instructions on how to use it. And I just absolutely love brow products. Um, obviously your brows make your face and if you go out without your brows on, for me personally, I feel like, oh my God, like if I put my brows on, I feel like at least I'm halfway there. So I think that little kits like this are so handy. And if you're going on holiday and you just kind of want something really simple to use, really easy and easy to throw in your makeup bag, then this is brilliant and I've been loving this this month. Good for your brows, 17 brows. Another thing I've been loving this month is this lipstick that I've got on right now and this is the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in 107 and I don't know, it's just a really nice red. I always go back to this if I'm after a kind of darker tone and um, especially with this shirt, I thought that red would look really nice. So I naturally picked this out and then thought, actually, I've worn this quite a lot recently, so it's gonna go my favorite. So I really like this shade, and if you're looking for a really kind of high street, affordable lipstick that is gonna flat out everyone, I think this will literally go with any skin color um, and any hair color and stuff like that. I love those lipsticks as well because they're really moisturizing and they feel so nice when you're putting them on. So definitely love the Kate Moss by Rimmel. Next I have some hair things and firstly I have a hairbrush that I am loving and I didn't ever think I'd feature a hairbrush in my favourites but actually if I can't find this in my room when I'm doing my hair then it's a big deal. I absolutely love it and this is the Lee Stafford Argan Oil from Morocco brush and if you've got knotty hair like me this is worth a buy honestly. This sorts my hair out in an instant, wet or dry, if it's knotty this will get through those knots but not kind of rip the hair out as well. Um, I just think it's such a good hairbrush and I kind of now realise why hairbrushes are so important. I never really thought about it before and I kind of just thought, oh, cheap hairbrush will do, but actually they are kind of important. Um, but yeah, I think this is really, really, really affordable, still about £7 if that. Um, I'll leave all the direct links below as well and yeah, I love the old Lee Stafford products as you know, but 
I thought I'd include them anyway because they're the ones that I'm using the most recently. Another Lee Stafford product here, and again, this is something I've been using just all month and I've repurchased over and over again. And this is the Lee Stafford Dry Shampoo, and this is the original one. Um, and basically, this dry shampoo for me just doesn't build up. I don't feel like I have to wash my hair immediately after putting it in. Um, it kind of just brushes out. Um, I don't feel like it has that horrible kind of greasy hair feel, which is kind of the whole point. But actually, I've got a lot of dry shampoos that I've used in the past that actually make my hair feel worse. And I feel like I need to instantly go and wash it. Whereas this just gives me that little bit of oomph that I need. It gives me a bit of volume, it gives me a bit of grip and texture. And yeah, so basically, I love this dry shampoo. And if you don't know how you can use dry shampoo, for instance, there's loads of different ways you can use it. Make sure you check out the Lee Stafford Hair channel um, on YouTube. I'll leave the link here on my face so you can go directly to there. I've just put up a video of me talking about how to use dry shampoo. And if you didn't know, I make videos for them every week. One goes live every week. So you can find out how to use all of the products and fall in love with them like I have. So yeah, dry shampoo, love it. Next we have some sunglasses, which is pretty ironic because the weather outside absolutely sucks right now. It's literally chucking it down. Um, yeah, but these, these glasses are becoming my favourite this month and these are by Fashion Pills. I love the grey colour of them, the kind of frame. They're just a bit retro looking, I love the sides of them and on I just think they look just quite cool actually, a bit retro and a bit vintage looking and yeah, I just really like these glasses and I've been wearing them so much this month when it's been sunny. And as you can see, I quite like how they look on my head. So as you guys might know, I've recently moved in with my boyfriend, which means I am absolutely loving home decoration, interior, websites, shopping for interior design stuff, everything to do with the home basically. And um, yeah, so I got sent this vase a couple of days ago and even though I haven't used it for the whole month, I know that I love it as much as a month can take. So basically, I absolutely love this vase and it needed a place in this video. And this is the vase. And I just think, like, how mad is this vase? It's just absolutely crazy, but I love it for that reason. So you've got this kind of concrete grey effect here, and then this gold kind of coppery paint, a dripping effect, and which is really shiny. And it's massive as well, which I was not expecting. I got sent this by a company called Wish One, and I'll leave the link to them below as well, because that's a really cool concept. You basically pick a load of gift ideas, send it to someone that you're buying a gift and then they can pick from them ideas. So I picked this vase from the ideas, even though I did it for myself, but you can do it for anyone and I just absolutely love this and I know that I'm gonna get so much use out of this for when my boyfriend buys me loads of flowers. Hey Chris, if you're watching, you know what you need to fill up now. But yeah, so I'm just loving this and I love how different it is and yeah, it looks quite nice in my office. So I thought I'd include that anyway. God, better not fall off the thing. And then lastly, we have some clothes items, of course. I've always got to include some clothes. Um, I'm going to start with shoes. And I bought these from ASOS recently. And again, if the weather would improve, I would have worn them a lot more. But they're still a strong favourite. And these are my cute little shoes. And I just absolutely love how cute these are. These make me smile instantly, as you can see. Um, so yeah, so these little polka dots, I think they're like brown. But you could wear them with black. I was tempted to wear them with black before um, because... When they're paired with black, you can't really tell. And they've got these little pink polka dots and bows on the toes and then this little ankle strap. And with a pair of jeans or a little summery dress or a pair of shorts, they literally are so cute but also really flattering. Um, I have very short legs, so I have to be quite careful about kind of what shoes I wear or kind of what combination shoes and jeans, etc. Um, but these are really flattering and don't make my legs look really short. How cute are these? Just love them so much. Yeah, they're so cute. Next up from ASOS, I have a bit of a basic piece, but a favourite nonetheless. And this is a black v-neck top. I don't know how well you can see it on there because it's just black. But yeah, it's got a v-neck that comes to here. It's a very thin, it's a very thin material. Um, I don't know what material it is. I don't really know if you guys really want to know, but I'll try and find out. Fiscoast, do you guys want to know that? I don't know. But yeah, so this is the top. It was £12 and it's from their basics range and I got it in a size 8 because it's quite oversized. Um, I probably could have gone smaller but I like them quite baggy. And I, again, I just love how this looks with a pair of boyfriend jeans, black shoes, really casual and I'm just really into that basic look at the moment. I know everyone's like, oh, basic, hmm, 
but it's just like you know what actually basic works like it's quite a simple look you can have a nice necklace with it I just think it just looks nice and I really like this for £12 and I'm really tempted to get the white but I don't know how see through it would be so I'm a bit cautious of that but £12 you can't go wrong. Hey so guys that is my August favourites video done well that's a mouthful and um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed that video if you have any video ideas or stuff that you'd like me to do then leave them in the comments below Always give the video a like, and if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe. It'd be nice to have you along for the ride of Tiny Twist. And um, yeah, as always, I have a Twitter, Facebook, and all that junk, and all the links for that can be found below. And um, yeah, I'll see you again soon for another video. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you again soon. Bye! Mwah.